Good day to you all. It's uh, a privilege to uh, introduce to you uh, members of our board, our bishop, and others who just want to say thank you for all you've been doing in this uh, pandemic, in these many, many months where our lives have been so different and so stressed. You are there. We hear the expression on the TV, essential workers. Everyone who works in Catholic charities is an essential worker, a life-giving worker. And we are grateful for all that you've been doing and continue to do for people in these times. For an example, uh, in our CFCS, we were serving perhaps 5,000 people a month uh, before the pandemic. This last June, we're up to 25,000 people a month, and we expect that that will continue. We know that uh, those of us who are uh, committed in the straight and narrow and the DPD, so much of you, uh, your work is with individual people in home settings, in uh, close settings. And we recognize that just coming to work and just helping our clients is an extraordinary and special gift that you are offering to them and to all of us and as well to our Lord himself uh, that you are serving and serving them. We are also serving Jesus himself. And as a Catholic Charities Agency, we are so grateful to you. And we felt we just wanted to say that. And that's why we're having this event and being able to bring it into your own home, into your own office. And just to say, please continue to serve in this extraordinary way. Please continue to serve and provide hope to so, so many people, including our fellow staff members, including the people who support us and support Catholic Charities in many different ways. Thank you, God bless you, and there's lots of people after me to talk with you. God be with you. Hello, Bishop Kevin Sweeney here. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Catholic Charities, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you, muchísimas gracias, to all the employees, workers, staff of Catholic Charities throughout our diocese. These past six, seven months have been such a challenging time, and we want you to know that we're aware of how much you've done going over and above the call to duty. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias a todos por sus esfuerzos, especialmente durante estos seis, siete meses tan difíciles. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all you do. Keep up the good work, and know you're in my prayers and in the prayers of our diocese as you serve our, the, the, our brothers and sisters most in need. Thank you, muchísimas gracias. Hello, everyone. I'm Sister Donna Markham, the president of Catholic Charities USA, and I just want to wish every one of you so much uh, of our care, our affection, and our deep gratitude for all that you have been doing in the midst of this pandemic. Your work has been absolutely incredible, and you stand as a witness to all of us that uh, God's love and compassion and mercy operationalized through you have no limit. Thank you again. God bless. Uh, hi, my name is John Sullivan. I've been a board member with Catholic Charities for over 15 years and just want to thank all the people that were so actively involved in doing what needed to be done to help the people we serve. You did a great job and thanks again and hopefully we'll get through all this and we'll have a better 221. Thanks again. Hi. My name is Dr. Anthony P. Cajano, Jr. I am a retired uh, physician, uh, an obstetrician gynecologist. The good Lord has given me the privilege to bring new life into the world over 7,500 times. I uh, am uh, with the Catholic Charities on the board for the last four years and uh, enjoy working with the personnel and all of you who have given so much, especially during this pandemic. Uh, you've given time, energy, love, caring to the people who needed it the most. And that's what we do in Catholic Charities. We take care of the people who need it the most. The people who are without food or without housing and uh, without caring, we have people who 
are addicted and we have our straight and narrow. I worked at straight and narrow for uh, many, many times as a primary care physician to the people who needed it the most. The people at straight and narrow are really heroes. The people, the nurses, the personnel, wonderful, wonderful people. And during the time of the pandemic, with all the problems that we're having with people testing positive and, and being sick, it is a pleasure to see the caring that I have seen over the past few months. The last eight months have been very, very tough for all of us, and especially in the Patterson Diocese, where there are an awful lot of people who need our caring, loving, and uh, giving them what they need the most at this time of an emergency. Hello, my name is Hope Eater. I am the Director of Human Resources at Catholic Charities. I wanted to take this time to thank you, to thank each and every one of you. Over the past six or seven months, we have all faced some very scary and quite challenging times. But because of you, our operations continued. When we needed you the most, in our residential programs, in our rehab programs, in our group homes, in our food pantries. You still came to work, even when you yourself were scared about coming outside of your home. We could not have done it without you. You are truly the heart of this agency. And thank you, thank you so much for everything that you do for our community, for your coworkers, for our mission. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name's Tom Barrett. I'm a board member and I've actually worked for Catholic Charities for 30 years or more in the past and started as a volunteer. And I just wanna let you know, we really, really appreciate the great work you do. This year's been an unbelievable challenge. You're taking care of the most vulnerable people. You're doing it in the name of the church and it's just fantastic. We can't thank you enough. Hello, my name is Tim Potter, and I'm the Chief Development Officer for the Patterson Diocese, and I'm on the board of Catholic Charities. I want to thank you so much for serving on the front line in helping people in need, especially in this time of COVID. It's a great blessing for the church to have you as an ambassador of the gospel, and it's a wonderful gift to the people that you serve and we serve in Christ's name. Thanks so much, and God bless. Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Barron, and I'm a member of the Board of Directors of Catholic Charities. Greetings. It says in Isaiah 58, 10, if you pour yourself out for the hungry and satisfy the desire of the afflicted, then shall your light rise in the darkness and your gloom be as the noonday. Matthew 25, 40 says, and the king will answer them. Truly, I say to you, as you do it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you do it to me. I want to thank all of you for showing up every day and living the mission of Catholic Charities and living the gospel. Through your service to the most vulnerable members of our society, our brothers and sisters, thank you for bringing your light and the light of Christ to these people, to the world. God bless you and bless your families and thank you for all that you do. Hello everyone. My name is Ivani Vega McTai and I'm the Director of Family Faith Formation at the Cathedral. It's an honor for me to serve on the Board of Catholic Charities. I'm so happy to have this opportunity to send this message of gratitude to everyone at all of the agencies. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the incredible work that you have all been doing during this very difficult time. Your unfailing commitment to serve the most vulnerable in our communities has been heroic. Many speak about the essential work that you do, and I would go further and say that what you do is holy work. I want to thank you in a special way on behalf of many of our families at the cathedral that have been helped over the last few months. Thank you for the compassion and love you have given them. Thank you for always treating them with dignity and respect. 
and making sure that their needs are met. I know that many of you have had to make sacrifices to continue serving your communities. May God bless you and your families for all that you have been doing. Thank you. Hi, I'm Michael Calabrese. I'm a member of the Board of Trustees for Catholic Charities. Just want to take this opportunity to thank all the members of the staff and volunteers for all the hard work you've been doing over the past several months. Uh, it's been nothing short of inspiring to see how hard you've all worked to continue to serve all of those in great need. And it hasn't gone unnoticed, that's for sure. So again, thank you very much. Hello, I'm Paul Whittakin, and I served on various agency boards, Hope House, Catholic Family and Community Services, and now the Combined Catholic Charities Board. Serving on these boards has been a very humbling experience because I continually learn about all that you do day and night to serve our clients in need. Every day you demonstrate your caring, your compassion, and your dedication. And during the past seven months, you've been tested in ways that no one anticipated, both as you served your clients and in your personal lives. But during that entire time, your dedication has been unwavering and you've continued to serve the neediest among us. And for that is an understatement to say I'm extremely proud. I am very proud and I know the entire board is for all that you've done. Thank you and please know that you have our thanks as you continue your work during the coming months. All right. Hello, my name is Joanna Miller. I am the Executive Director of the Department for Persons with Disabilities, commonly known as DPD. I just want to thank all of you, all of our staff at Catholic Charities for your dedication through this pandemic. You have been amazing and especially thank you to all of our direct support professionals at DPD for all of your hard work in the group homes. All of you at Catholic Charities are part of a very special ministry and we thank you from the bottom of our heart for your dedication and love to provide help and create hope. Thank you. Hi, my name is Angela Nikolovsky and I am the Executive Director of Straight and Narrow. I'd like to thank all of our staff for your continued commitment and dedication in providing services tirelessly each day during the health pandemic, ensuring our clients received compassionate care and treatment when it was needed most. We couldn't do what we do each and every day without our most valuable asset, each one of you. Thank you. My name is Father Ed Redding. I'm on the board of directors of Catholic Charities and I chair the personnel committee. And we really want to thank all the staff of all the agencies uh, for the extra work and time and effort that they've put in uh, during this uh, pandemic time. Uh, you've gone out of your way and we really want you to know that we really appreciate it. Hello, my name is Scott Milliken, CEO for Catholic Charities. I'm standing here with my friend Patty in front of Giuliano House. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the staff at DPD, Straight and Narrow, and CFCS for their de dedication throughout the COVID crisis. You are essential employees, and we would not have been able to do what we have done, serve the people we've served, fed the people we fed, clothed the people we clothed, and housed the people we housed without your dedication. A good friend of mine, Julie Patty, who you'll hear from, told me once that our staff are the brick and mortar in everything that we do. So from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of, the, from, on behalf of the board and the bishop, thank you all for all that you have done for us during this crisis. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dennis Murray, Vice President of the Board of Trustees for Catholic Charities of Patterson. And I just want to take this opportunity to say to all of you, thank you for your efforts in this extraordinary and challenging year of 2020. Catholic Charities, as usual, has risen to the top of the mountain and gotten both local and national recognition. And that recognition is because of your efforts and your hard work. And again, we just wanted to say thank you. God bless you and stay safe. Hi, my name is Bob Jacob. I'm the Executive Director of Catholic Family and Community Services. I want to thank you all the employees of Catholic Charities for all that you did these challenging times. You did your hard work and uh, all that your sacrifices that you did these times are very much appreciated. 
and from the bottom of my heart i want to thank you each and every staff of catholic charities thank you and god bless you hi my name is ed madsen and i'm a member of the board of trustees of catholic charities i've been involved with the board since 2006 first with hope house and later with catholic families and for the past 3 years with the current board of the combined organization I have been able to see the results of incredible work of the Catholic Charities employees and volunteers. However, I must say your efforts in the past year of the coronavirus exceed all that I've seen before. You've provided a very high level of service to our clients and all those who come to us seeking assistance while still carrying out the additional burdens of keeping yourselves, your families as well as our clients safe in the midst of the chaos that is 2020. I offer you my heartfelt thanks and appreciation for your efforts and your hard work. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, I'm Julie Taddy and I'm a member of the Board of Trustees for Catholic Charities. I'm here today to say thank you. Thank you for everything you are doing. Every day you go to work and you serve some of the neediest people in our diocese. You're serving people with addiction, people who are hungry, some of our most vulnerable people people with disabilities i want you to know that your efforts are so appreciated by all of us on the board of trustees but especially by me so thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you for all you are doing hi everyone my name is sole and selmi and i'm a trustee and treasurer of the board of directors of catholic charities for the last few months i have watched how you the staff of catholic charities CFCS, DPD and Straight and Narrow have given 100% of yourselves to provide services to those who now more than ever need them most. In many cases, you have sacrificed your own safety to ensure that despite the challenges of COVID-19, our clients continue to receive food and shelter and clothing, substance abuse treatment, care at our homes for persons with disabilities and so much more. You are all good Samaritans. You every day live by Matthew's gospel. You should love your neighbor as yourself. These are difficult times, but your dedication is a true inspiration to all of us. Thank you for all you do, and may God continue to bless you and your families. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Brancato, and I'm the development director from Catholic Charities Diocese of Patterson. I'm here at our Father English Food Pantry, where. Since the start of COVID-19, our staff have given out over 1 million pounds of food. I would like to personally thank all of our employees from throughout Catholic Charities for your hard work, kindness, and love during this unprecedented time. God bless you and thank you again for all you do each day for our sisters and brothers who are most in need. Hi, I'm Catherine Lordy, I'm the secretary of the board. And I just like to say how very proud and grateful all of us on the board are to each and every one of you employees who have worked so diligently, tirelessly, and generously to help so many people with so many different things during these very difficult and strange times. Thank you. Let me say thank you to our bishop and all of our board members and other folks who were part of this uh, event. Uh, again, another virtual event. Uh, we thank them and we thank all of you and we pray that you will continue to provide hope and give service to people who continue to need us very very much the need continues and our commitment continues and we are so grateful to you god bless you